Populating, man. I'm tight, man. My phone is dead, man. I gotta sit in the car, man. It's too nice out here to be sitting in the car, man. It's too nice to be sitting in the car, bro. It's whack. It's whack. No, I am not moving, so don't ask. Don't ask, because I'm not moving, baby. We're mother. Snow the Ledge, what's poppin'? Anytime Television, LS, what up? Ramble 79, what up? Sean Summers, what up? BA, Goat Lady, what's poppin'? J Fit. Ant Live 845, what's really good? Good looking, man. We got new, we got new heat dropping at 9 o'clock. We, we on our first West Coast story at 9 o'clock, you heard? We know what to do about this. We on our first West Coast story at 9 o'clock. That's a fact. We on the West Coast. Y'all do is make sure y'all go subscribe to my new video game channel. I got I, I really should have made the title that. Subscribe to my new video game channel. I see a lot of y'all do subscribe today, man. I really, I really appreciate that. That shit is at like 50 subscribers already. And I just posted that first video today. So y'all dudes is inspiring me, man. Y'all gonna make me go crazy on these on these 80s video games, man. You heard? You know, on the low, I'm the I'm the 80s video game. I ain't gonna say master. But I'm the 80s video game knower. You understand what I'm saying? I might have to bring some of my old constituents back out of retirement to come on the show with me, like my nigga Trey Bag, my nigga Israel. You understand what I'm saying? I might have to bring my niggas on the show and we talk about some of these games, my nigga, because, and I got some stories. There's stories attached to these video games, bro. There's stories attached to these video games. Now, Yerk. Red Room Podcast was populating. I'm mad I gotta sit up in this car right now. I'm gonna try to charge my shit up like 15%. And I'm out of here, bro, because I can't be sitting up in this car. It's too beautiful outside. I need to walk. I need to beat my feet. Yerk. But yeah, my niggas, Random Ryan was really good. But yeah, my genie. Yeah, my genie. This is my type of weather out here. I'm about to roll up some vinyl. I'm mad, man. I had some super fire. Like, I had two types of weeds. One of it was I, right, the other was super duper fire. And then I had the super duper fire in my pocket. And the motherfucking joint was open and the shit spilled out my pocket. And I lost half of the super duper fire. Like, that shit pissed me off, bro. Word to mother. That shit pissed me off. Now I gotta try to motherfucking. Damn, do I even got my rolling paper on me? That would be a disaster. If I don't got my rolling paper on me, that'd be a motherfucking disaster. Oh, I got my shit on. Yeah, man. I mean, new episode dropping at nine cash. Come on, bro. You driving that shit too fast, bro. New episode dropping at nine cash. We gonna be on our first West Coast episode. Shout out to the bro Tiny P. Shout out to the whole Cali. Shout out to San Diego. You feel what I'm saying? We going we going to California State Penitentiary at nine o'clock. See what they see what it's hitting for over there in Cali. You feel what I'm saying? That's a fact. See what it's hitting for all the way in Cali. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my new video game channel. Motherfucking Brooklyn Arcade. That's the name of my shit. Brooklyn Arcade with St. Lads. I got my first episode up there right now. It's 20 minutes long. I'm playing Trojan. And these is arcade versions. I'm not I'm right right now. I'm not dealing with motherfucking um I'm not dealing with um Nintendo and home versions of shit. I'm dealing with arcade shit. So right now I'm playing I'm playing Trojan and I'm playing motherfucking um what else I'm playing? Trojan and um Damn man, nigga going, nigga losing it, baby. Nigga smoking too much weed. Ghouls and ghosts and another joint. I forgot the other joint that I'm playing. So I'm playing three different joints, but these episodes, I'm, I'm gonna start playing two joints per episode, man. So I already did a new episode that I ain't upload yet. I'm playing motherfucking Final Fight. I'm playing Final Fight and I'm playing uh Once again, the memory is fucked up, bro. Oh, Strider. Arcade versions, my nigga. 
Strider. Ain't nothing like the arcade version of Strider. Whatever system that shit came out on, that shit was type whack. That shit was whack compared to the motherfucking arcade version. You understand what I'm saying? Mac Mean, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, my brother. Definitely click that link and subscribe to that to that motherfucking uh Brooklyn arcade, man. Cause I ain't I'm a, I'm I'm gonna put up the best games ever played and made. You heard I'm starting off with arcade when when dudes start forcing me to do Nintendo and Genesis. I got Genesis. I got I got I got like 50 Genesis games. No exaggeration. You know what I mean, I got and I got Nintendo shit too. I got Nintendo shit too. You know what I mean? But it's like um I love arcades, man. You heard make me think of Playland on 42nd Street back in the days, man. You're 47th, really. You know what I mean? Ruth Deanne, appreciate you. Same vintage was really good. Yeah, I remember, I remember arcade. I remember King's Plaza, an arcade related to King's Plaza. I don't, my memory is foggy about that. Cause you know I'm from Brownsville, man. So you know what I mean. Back in the days, when we was going, we was going to King's Plaza. We was kind of out of bounds, man. So when we was going to King's Plaza. We be on Super Point. You heard? We be on Super Point, militant. Cause niggas be trying to front on the way to King's Plaza. And at King's Plaza, niggas be trying to front back in the days. You know what I mean? So a nigga be on, nigga be on alert. You go to that movie theater in King's Plaza, you might have to scrap out. But I love King's Plaza, but that shit is too far, bro. That shit be too far. I'll be like, what the fuck? Where the mother? Mooney 718, what's popping? Tina Smith, what up? The business, what up? LS. Mac Mean in the building. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the bro Mac Mean. You heard lit up in blue. You got a YouTube channel about Rikers Island too, in case y'all don't know. Go subscribe to the bro. 88 was popping. But yeah, man. Shout out my nigga Tidy P, AKA Love Life. Now nah, I mean, go subscribe to his channel, Kush and Coffee, man. Coffee and I don't know if it's I think it's Coffee and Kush. That's the bro, know what I mean. But this is the first West Coast. This is the first West Coast story on the channel, man. So you know, we opening up that West Coast, that West Coast lane, man. You heard? Shout out to the bro, sixteen of life, the the real king of the West Coast jail stories. If you ain't subscribed to the bro 16 of life, go subscribe to the bro 16 of life. My nigga, shout out to bro Fruit Quad. Just hit a thousand subscribers today. You heard? Y'all dudes go subscribe. Go watch some videos on his page. Go share some videos to Facebook. You know what I mean? Get that algorithm on his page popping. You heard? That's a fact, bro. You know what I mean? It's a lot of YouTube channels getting their weight up out here. You feel what I'm saying? But go subscribe to the Bro Fruit Corn. He just hit a thousand subscribers, man. That's big business. That's big business. Yersh. Word the mother. Texas bride tell I'm on lit it I've yurt till knitted it on I'm on live till knitted on yurt Greg Johnson was popping man shout out to Nikki man if you out there Nikki that was in fresh air fun with me holla at me man Nikki from the Bronx man her brother name was Either her brother name was Andre, Dre. I think his brother's brother name was Andre, man. Her little brother, man, from the Bronx, man. Nikki, that's my people. 
But if you out there, holla at me, man. Holla at me, man. Yeah, we on the West Coast, man. We going to L.A. on the channel, man. We on the West Coast at 9 o'clock. We dropping a new episode. You understand what I'm saying? We dropping a new episode at 9 o'clock. You know, they just approved the shit out of nowhere. I'm like, I was going to drop it tomorrow, but I'm like, nah, man. I ain't dropped nothing today, man. I don't like missing a day not dropping nothing, man. Word the mother, man. Makes me feel, makes me feel a little icky. You heard? If I don't drop a motherfucking joint that day, I feel a little icky. Word up. I need to drop some shit, nigga. I'll be feeling like I'm disappointing the masses if I don't drop something. You heard? So, luckily they approved that shit. I was like, I seen that shit. I said, oh, they approved that? I checked the chart let me see if niggas is online oh word niggas online all the way to 10 o'clock all right baby we on this man i don't care man we on this man so i probably ain't gonna drop nothing else till tomorrow night sometime you heard so are you trying to give an episode that full 24 hours you know that's kind of like my rule every once in a while i gotta break that rule because i got so much content that i gotta get it out you heard i gotta get it out but it's um, but really the rule is I try to give a video 24 full hours to do what it do, and then I drop another joint. You heard? The video game channel, I'm only gonna be able probably to drop like once of those a week, one of those a week, cause I can't just I, I I'm already overwhelmed with work. So in them video game videos, dumb shits take work, my nigga, cause I gotta. Play all of the games, download them shits, edit them shits right, and then do the voiceover to the whole shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, that shit takes some time. And you gotta, I, gotta, I gotta play it, I gotta watch the whole game video over, do the voiceover to it, edit that shit up, tag it up and all of that good shit. And then, I mean, that shit should take a little bit of time, man. So I can't, I, I'm, I'm trying to put one of those out a week, man. Because I'm, I'm got to step my life up out here, man. I can't be having one stream of income. Nigga need five streams of income when you got kids. That's a fact. Black Play 456, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you on them donations, man. A lot of y'all dudes been sending me cash app. I appreciate that. Um, how, um, Shout out to the bro who... You know, did some good business with me today for that for some for a good song. I'm about to start writing to that beat immediately. That shit is fire. Know what I mean? Like some good some good niggas been coming through with some good business lately, man. You heard? Now is the time, my nigga. Now is the time, my nigga. Before I drop something that do 10 million, and you be like, damn. What if I would have had my motherfucking mixtape promo? On that video and that shit did 10 million and I only paid three hundred dollars. Nigga, like yo, I only paid three hundred dollars for that promo and that fucking video did 10 million views, nigga. Or that shit just did a milli goat and you only paid three hundred. You would be happier than a motherfucker, nigga, that you only paid three hundred for that type of promo. See, that's the ill shit. You know you're gonna get three hundred dollars worth of promo, but you might get three thousand. You might get thirty thousand dollars worth of promo. You just don't know. Like that video I did with the New Orleans shit with my bro Squeak. If I would have had somebody promo on that shit, like let's say a rapper would have been on, I'd be like, yo, before the video started, be like, yo, check out that nigga MC Fire Hydrant. You heard he got that new single out. It's called Such and Such. Go on, I mean, type Such and Such in on YouTube and his video gonna pop up. Word to mother, go check that. Nigga, that nigga might have 300,000 views on that video right now. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. So they got to be smitted out, you heard? Now, I'm doing, I'll be doing two for five, though, bro. I'll be doing two for five for a nigga that's trying to get his get his shit off the ground and he ain't got much guap. You know what I mean? I give a nigga two for five. You know what I mean? Two episodes for 500 if a nigga really need that. If a nigga really need that love, give a nigga that two for five. You heard? 
You'll always be live with two for five. <sighs> Hip hop real was popping. BX in the building was really good. Cavity King more or less was popping. Slim Blink gang in the building. You already know that. RKY was popping. The real Whitehead was populated. That shit discontinued right now. My nigga, it'll be back soon. It'll be back soon. I had to put, I had to bury that temporarily, man, because I, I started getting the conscious and I started feeling like I was making too much money off of some gruesome shit. So I said, all right, I'll leave it alone. If I would, if I wouldn't, if I would have left that shit there, I should have made about fifteen thousand by now. You know what I mean? But every dollar ain't a good dollar, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta just, you know. So right now that shit discontinued, but you know, I got a new a new a new documentary out. I mean a new movie out going down right now called The Story of Pottersfield. Part one is up there right now, man. Y'all niggas go type that in. St. Laz, the story of Pottersfield. You feel me saying the first episode is up there. They shot the door up in Jamaica, Queens. You feel me? Go check that shit. It got about nine thousand views or something right now. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all niggas be sleeping on my stories. I seen the story I got today right now. That shit got 5,000 views, bro. And that story funnier than a motherfucker. I'm going to keep it real with you. It's called the T-Bars Titty. Creepy crawlers and the T-Bars Titty. You heard? If you ain't see that, go type that in, nigga. Creepy crawlers and the T-Bars Titty. If you ain't see that episode, you ain't... This is why I don't be dropping episodes like that, man. Because if y'all y'all niggas don't y'all only want to see, you know, 3D images of jails and niggas getting stabbed and hearing about niggas getting stabbed, y'all don't be fucking with my stories like that. So you know what I mean? When I drop that shit, shit only do five six thousand views. But I like that in the same token because then I always got new material. If a nigga be like, "Yo, last man, I I need some new shit that I ain't see." Bam, here go five episodes that that got under 10,000 views. That means there's a whole lot of motherfuckers on the channel that didn't see those particular episodes. And that's good. So that means I don't always got to be forced to make new shit. I got shit on the channel that's still new. Because I put out too much. That's what it really is. I put out too much stories sometimes. And niggas can't really keep up with all them stories. You feel what I'm saying? And then sometimes YouTube search engine be off a little bit. It happens a couple of times where videos just don't pop off the way they supposed to because something is up with that search engine at that particular day because my YouTube, like, you know, my shit is on autopilot, bro. You understand? It's gonna, just because a video does a bunch of views in the beginning don't mean it's gonna do a bunch of views later on. You feel what I'm saying? And vice versa. You feel me? So... It's going to get a video is going to get a certain amount of views, bro. That shit going to hit 10,000. Most most nine out of 10 uploads is going to hit 10,000 views in under a month. And that's great promo, my nigga. We talking about Organic Valley. We ain't talking about that fake ass promo that niggas be having bots, having your shit on 10 million views and all of that shit is fake, man. You feel what I'm saying? We talking about real shit. You see how lighting changes everything? Look at my eyes. This is how Hollywood works. Look at my eyes, look at the bags under my eyes. That's really shadow. What you're really seeing when a person see bag, you seeing shadow. You feel what I'm saying? Now, boom. Look at this shit. You feel me? This is why lighting costs a lot of money. Correct lighting in film, it costs a lot of money, my nigga. Lighting is expensive because that shit brings your film to a whole nother level, my nigga. But like, yeah, bros. What time is it, man? The episode is dropping in 17 minutes, man. Yeah, we on the West Coast, my nigga. We on the West Coast, man. We in California State Prison, man. We in California State Prison, man. I mean, we going to California State Prison, and we going to see what is cracking for out there in California State Prison. You heard? My bro, Tiny P. We in San Diego, man. You know what I mean? We moving, bro. You know this shit ain't, man. This shit is uncontrollable, bro. We're going to get African jail stories on this motherfucker, nigga. Start getting them Colombian jail stories. Shout out to the bro. Shout out to the bro. 
that hollered at me yesterday, man. I mean, I don't want to blow it up, man, because we got good shit coming. But I got some good Jamaican shit coming real soon, bro. I got the veterans calling in from Jamaica. We gonna really get. We gonna go into the history of some things. You heard? We gonna go into the history of some things. Y'all niggas don't want it. Yeah, I don't want it when I start popping up with Richie Spice and all of that, telling war stories. Niggas gonna be like, oh shit. Watch, my nigga. This shit is gonna get creepy. It's gonna get spooky. It's gonna get spooky. Got a lot of major niggas watching the channel. A lot of major niggas hollering. A lot of major things is gonna take place, man. You heard? It's just. It's, you know what I mean? They say when God come, he come like a thief in the night. Let me tell y'all some deep shit, man. I ain't even gonna try to get all deep on y'all, but let me tell y'all some deep shit, bro. I struggled in this rap game for so long, my nigga. Let me tell you, the rap game has become corrupted to whereas if you don't have your own money, it used to be if you were dope, somebody would find a way to get some funding for you. But the rap game has gotten to a point now where if you don't have your own hundred thousand dollars to break an artist, it take a hundred thousand dollars to break an artist. If you ain't coming in the game with a hundred K off the streets or wherever you got it from, you're going to have a rough time breaking yourself in the music industry. I put myself on MTV, Hot 97, Power 105, BET, all type of shit. And then I still ain't break the mold, my nigga. You feel me? I still ain't break the mold. And when I used to do my meditations, you understand what I'm saying? Because there is a higher self, my nigga, and a higher power. Even though I'm, you know, I'm God body, a nigga may not understand these understandings. But this is simple mathematics. You feel what I'm saying? There is a higher power, but that higher power is not separate from you. You understand what I'm saying? It's not uh, somebody sitting on a cloud in the sky. It's a higher power that you could tap into. You feel me? And when you meditate, you know, I be neglecting meditation. Meditation is, psh, that shit right there is like gold. You understand? When you meditate, that shit is like gold. And I be neglecting my meditations. And that's what you really supposed to be puffing that puff for to get your meditation on. You heard? But, um. I've meditated and reached some heights, my nigga. And during my meditations, I used to just be like, yo, talking to the universe. And I mean, a positive force of love in the universe. Like, yo, do me a favor. And, and, and then, you know, niggas be scared to talk like it's a consciousness. Of course, it's a higher consciousness, bro. How the fuck you got a conscious mind? How the, where did you get your conscious mind from? That's some real sick old shit to believe that. You have a conscious and you think that shit, you think there's not a higher conscious. You bug it. You understand what I'm saying? Where the fuck we get a conscious mind from? You understand what I'm saying? That's why in the Bible when it says, and in the Quran, when it says, um, God breathed breath, um, breathed breath, and you was made in the image, my nigga. You think you got a mind and feelings, and it ain't a mind and feelings in this universe? You bug it. You feel what I'm saying? It's just not a character. It's just an energy force that you got to tap into. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, um, when I used to be on my meditation heavy, what I used to be saying to myself is, please, please. See, sometimes when I meditate, I command the universe to do my bidding or do what I want. And sometimes I gracefully ask the universe you understand what I'm saying? I try both methods and see which one works. You heard? So it's like, yo, when I be in my meditation, I just be like, yo, and this was years ago before I had any form of YouTube success. I used to say, yo, please, please just give me a happy ending. Just give me a happy ending so that I could tell my kids and the people that I love, yo, I never gave up. And it happened, bro. It may have took a hundred years, but it happened. You feel me? I started feeling like I'm that nigga. It ain't never going to happen for my nigga. 
You heard? I started feeling this was like this was 18 months ago, bro. I was out here feeling like nigga, I ain't never getting on. You understand? Nigga, I was signing up for Uber Eats, nigga. You heard? I was out here signing up for Uber Eats. Even Uber Eats turned me down. Like, nah, you got a criminal record, nigga. You heard? I was signing up for, what's that shit? Shopping shit. You shop for niggas. Niggas like, nah, you got a criminal record. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, nigga. What the fuck I'm going to do out here, bro? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of that drug shit. I'm tired of all of that. I ain't trying to go to jail. What the fuck am I going to do to make some money, nigga? You heard? I was fucked up, son. I ain't have no no plans. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not trying to go back to the pen because I got little kids out here. You feel what I'm saying? Son, listen. All I kept saying was, just let me get a fucking happy ending. That's all I want. Just let me get a happy ending so I could preach this shit to the next man and say, yo, real talk, I ain't give up and I got that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So right now, the way I'm feeling, God damn. Excuse me. Her shit, crazy. But anyway, right now, the way I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, yo, I got that happy ending, my nigga. I ain't got to be rich. You feel what I'm saying? I found a way to touch hundreds of thousands of motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? And 18 months ago, nigga, I was trying to get an Uber Eats job. You understand what I'm saying? So... If you out there, my nigga, and you trying to do something and that shit ain't working out and it ain't moving fast, just know, just because it ain't moving fast don't mean it can't crack the fuck off, my nigga. And you got to try different things because I could have been told a Rikers Island story, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with me? All these great stories I had and I ain't tell them shits. What? Clown shit, nigga. Size 16 clown shoe shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You can't give up on yourself. You can't, you gotta understand that when you got talent, it, it ain't just in one thing, my nigga. If you got it, you got it. I tell you to my nigga John Ryder, because John Ryder's a rapper. You know, we used to spit our brains out up in Hudson together, up, up north. That nigga spit crazy. You feel what I'm saying? We spit crazy and we both was out here feeling discouraged because we spit crazy and niggas don't be understanding and feeling it like that. Just a few people. You heard? So what I'm explaining to niggas is, you know, bro, when you talented, when you got it, you got it. It ain't got nothing to do with rapping, singing, dancing, jumping, bouncing. You got something that the world wants, you feel what I'm saying? And if I, I wish I would have thought like that instead of just rap, 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 rap. You know what I mean? Listen, it's you, bro. It ain't rap, it's you. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what we learning with this shit, my nigga. And it's exciting to see, you know, people's life change. It's exciting to see that shit. People's lives changing over shit that, you know, I got a small influence on. That shit is dope. That's dope, bro. You feel me? And it's like, as I move further into this shit, you know, I'm going to keep it real with y'all niggas. I'm going to become a fucking hermit, my nigga. You understand? Because, you know, it's something in me, son, that I'll, I'm never really happy unless I'm working. You understand? I don't like to burn myself out working, but I like to work at my pace. But if I ain't working, I'm not really happy. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I got to work. I got I to gotta be up doing something. So as I get bread and shit, I get some big bread. I ain't going to be running around acting crazy in the streets. I'm going to get a fucking house in the suburbs, build a fucking monster studio, video and, and audio studio. And I'm going to put this work in, my nigga. And I'm going to be in these New York City streets with them big boy cameras, my nigga. And I'm going I'm to make something crazy happen. You understand what I'm saying? Inshallah. But anyway, man, new episode is dropping in seven Minyotes. You heard? Seven Minyotes. New episode is dropping. Polo Slim, what's really good? My nigga focus on understanding life is in the building. What's popping? Cecil Walker, what up? So he was populating. Fast Cash Dave, what's really good? 
Immunity 06 was popping. Andre Morgan was really good. Rodney Wonder. Now, I definitely believe in God. I believe I am God, and I believe that God and me is one being, and God is the everything and all, bro, the whole universe. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely. I mean, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. I mean, a law decoded in the black in the black makeup, in the, in the human makeup, period. The five-pointed star in the human makeup. You understand what I'm saying? The all in all. Definitely. You feel me? But I do believe in a higher conscious because I, I, I've, I've witnessed too much shit and been through too much shit and I'm still here, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, I tell my daughter, because, you know, my daughter's at that age, you know, she's 14. You know, when you're 14, you start having, you know, that, that opinion, that popular youth opinion. And she be questioning God and this and that and this and that. And I told my daughter, I said, let me tell you a secret that you better not ever forget. There's no atheists in foxholes, baby. And she was like, huh? What does that mean? I said, I'm gonna say it again. There's no atheists in foxholes, baby. Now I mean, you, you talk that you don't believe in God shit and you don't believe in nothing spiritual and higher and we just, it's just the earth and we're animals and mammals. When you fall down that foxhole, my nigga, and it ain't nothing to do but sit there and wait for that fox to come and eat your ass up, you gonna be motherfucking talking to a higher power, nigga. After you try to climb out that bitch for an hour or two and you ain't getting nowhere, you gonna motherfucking communicate with a higher power, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? So, like I said, there's no atheists in foxholes. Shit sound good. Know what I mean, but when you in that foxhole, nigga, you gonna tap into something higher than yourself, goddammit. And that's a fact. And I've been in a foxhole many a times, bro. Try being 17 years old walking into that calm stock yard for the first time with no hair on your face, looking like motherfucking, looking like motherfucking uh Princess Shearer, nigga. Try walking into the Comstock yard looking like Princess Shearer. Know what I mean? With no hair on your face, 13 years old. That's how you look into them lifers, nigga. You come up in there 17, no hair on your face, slim, light skin, curly hair, nigga. Nigga looking like Shearer. Know what I mean? Nigga looking like motherfucking the uh, uh, Jen and the Glamour Girls. Nigga in there looking like motherfucking Rainbow Bright to them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? That's the foxhole, nigga. You better learn to communicate with that higher power if you're going to make it through, nigga. I was on Rikers Island with beef with a 100 niggas by myself because I had too much pride to ever try to ask for help for anybody. You heard? I had beef with a 1,000 motherfuckers, nigga. And I had to walk through that building. I was somped up, nigga. I was saying that Psalms 91 so crazy. Niggas was jumping and flinching when I came through the hallway. Niggas was 10 deep. Jumping and flinching when I came through the hallway. I said, nigga, this spiritual shit is stronger than any banger, any motherfucking razor, anything in the world, nigga. When you spiritually in tune, you don't need no weapons. I ain't have no weapon. You heard? I ain't have no weapon, my nigga. My mind was my weapon. My shit was sharp. You feel what I'm saying? Can't nobody touch you, nigga. Can't nobody touch you when you on that, when you on that spiritual plane, son. Can't nobody touch you or look down and laugh at these niggas like fuck out of here nigga You know who the fuck I be nigga I'm vibrating at the motherfucking speed of light out this bitch nigga I'm G.O.D. nigga can't nothing touch me nigga Brick and steel can't hold gusto You heard? Carlos was populating My nigga F.O.U.L. was really good D.M. was popping We dropping in Two minutes, my nigga. We going to Cali. You heard? We going to Cali. Right now on my, my new... Make sure y'all subscribe to my new video game channel, lords. You heard? I mean, it's called Brooklyn Arcade with St. Laz. I mean, it ain't going to move as fast as this joint. But I'm going to be hitting y'all niggas with that A them 80s arcade classics. You know, because I was a kid that was really in Playland on 47th Street, Broadway. 
45th Street. Was it 40? I think it's 45th Street. It was 45th Street and Broadway. Then it was another arcade on 49th Street in Broadway. 50th Street, really, actually. Where that McDonald's is at on on, on, on 50th Street and motherfucking um Broadway on in on in Midtown, right next door to that shit used to be a motherfucking a uh, 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 down low game room, my nigga. That shit was great. It was lower than the one on the deuce. You heard? But I used to be in the motherfucking playland on, on on the deuce at like motherfucking nigga. They had the shits in the train station too. I used to be in that motherfucker 10, 9, 10 years old by myself, nigga. 10 o'clock at night. We was wilding out in New York back in them days. And the deuce back in them days was different. You seen the show. That shit was different, nigga. It was prostitutes and drugs and pimps everywhere you went. You heard? Wasn't no place for no kid but yo. A new episode is dropping right now, man. I need all y'all bros. Chico Low is really good. I need all of y'all bros. Gift by God. What up? Coffee and Kush was really good. That new episode is popping right now, my brother. Let me let me light you up right quick. Uh, I'm bugging out. Press something wrong. Add moderator. Boom. All right, we sliding over to that premiere, man. I'll meet y'all niggas over at the premiere. Pause. Leave a comment. Now I mean, share it on Facebook. I'll meet y'all over there.